Hi guys, it's Rachel and today I'm here to do my 16th week pregnancy update. Oh my gosh, you guys, I officially hit four months pregnant. Before you know it, I'll have my little baby in my arms and I cannot wait. This week has been all about me planning and organizing. I know you guys probably don't know this about me, but I am a huge planner and organized freak. I love to shop in bulk and I love to shop in advance. I hate running out of products. So on February 29th, I have my appointment where I'll be having an ultrasound done, blood work, and just a regular prenatal visit. Afterwards, my boyfriend and I plan to do a lot of shopping for me and the baby. So I would like to get stuff for me to make a DIY postpartum basket, which I'll be showing you guys. And I want to get baby Troy a lot of his little knickknacks um, as far as like gripe water, and um, a thermometer if you ever were to have a fever, like little knickknacks like that, a nail clipper, just to have all that uh, in one place, one time. And then, um, you know, after the baby shower, that's when I'm really going to go crazy and buy things that I didn't already get. Like, I'm going to buy tons of diapers, so forth, so on, because I'm just psycho like that. I love to be organized and I love to have everything in one <laughs> place. But... You guys, Troy is the size of a dill pickle right now. It's insane. And I just can't wait to share with you everything that's been going on with the baby and I because a lot of the symptoms that I've used to experience like headaches and um, nausea and all that stuff pretty much went away, which is awesome. And this week I felt the most energized. So like they say, the second trimester is where you feel really you know, energized, get all that back, and I've definitely got it back. So let me go in and share with you everything that's been going on. So first and foremost, I still have discharge. That's not, that hasn't went away. I still have it. I actually changed my panties last night because I forgot to wear a panty liner. So I really have to keep track and make sure that I'm remembering that. And then also, I've been very forgetful. Now, I thought it was a myth, the whole pregnancy brain thing, being forgetful. But honestly, you guys, this is the most I've ever been forgetful. I've been forget, I started to be forgetful um, for a while now but this week it's been the most like I forget words I forget like any, any little thing I'm forgetting so I did invest in a planner and I've been writing every little single thing down which has been a great help for me um, also this week I've been experiencing a lot of itching on my stomach I never realized that my belly was this itchy until I got out the shower and I noticed red patches all over and then it clicked like oh crap I have been scratching a lot so I started to reapply the stretch mark cream and it does help with the itching a little bit however the stretch mark cream isn't you know there to help me stop itching it's there to reduce the stretch marks that I'm going to have um, so uh, I'm actually going out tonight with some of the girls and then afterwards we plan on going to Walgreens so that I can, you know, get a little bit of knickknacks. And one of the things on my list is to get some good lotion. That way it could help with my stomach because it's been itching nonstop. You guys, like nonstop. Even with putting the stretch mark cream on, it'll eventually start to itch within like a couple minutes. So that's something I've been dealing with. And then speaking of itching, I've been experiencing itching on my nipples as well. Specifically the left one, which is really odd. I don't know what it is about the left and not the right, y'all. But I've been experiencing itching on a left nipple my roommate just got home awkward um hi right, guys so like i was saying <laughs> i didn't want her all up in my juice but um yeah i've been experiencing a lot of uh itchiness with the uh with the nips and <clears throat> speaking of nips my boobs have grown so much none of my bras fit anymore and i just recently bought one if you guys saw the day in the life of a pregnant woman from ross that doesn't fit anymore so it's just like i, I can't believe I'm, I'm growing that fast to where none of my stuff fits so that's something that's new for me and then also i've noticed a lot of varicose veins i think that's how you pronounce it varicose or varicose veins um all over my chest and like kind of right here so um I'm pretty sure eventually I'm gonna see it on my legs but for now I'm just seeing it all over my chest area I've still been constipated um, that hasn't went away I've been drinking a lot more water I'm not I haven't been really good with eating greens that much I'm not gonna lie but um, I have been drinking a lot more water and it seems to up a little bit but for the most part I'm still having the constipation so that hasn't left and then um, I'm sorry guys I have to look at my phone because I've been so forgetful that it's insane um, I think that's, oh, and I've been experiencing some back pain as well. I, I experience it the most when I'm walking. Sometimes when I sit, I feel a little bit, but not as much when I'm walking. So that's something I've been experiencing. And I've been looking into a pregnancy pillow. I'm just trying to do the research because, um, you know, they are kind of pricey sometimes. So I just want to make sure I get a really good one. <clears throat> and then I cannot sleep on my belly anymore. So that was the last thing. I can't sleep on my belly anymore. Um, 
in one of my previous pregnancy uh, updates, I mentioned that I couldn't sleep on my belly or whatever, and then eventually I started to re-sleep on my belly. And now I just can't. Like, I attempted to, and I just, I can't do it anymore. It's really uncomfortable, and I feel huge at nighttime. I don't know if it's because, like, I don't know, throughout the day I'm eating, and then, so that's probably what's, you know, give, giving me more of an extra bump, but... At night, I feel huge. At night, you feel like I'm six months pregnant. And then in the morning, I feel like I'm like, you know, exactly four months pregnant. So it's crazy. But I feel the biggest at night and I can't sleep on my stomach. It's super uncomfortable. And I do feel him moving a lot. Even like if I try to sleep on the side that he's on, I do feel him move a lot more. So um, I've been sleeping on the opposite side. So it's been a little bit uncomfortable as far as sleeping. But I have been getting really good sleep. I don't really get up in the morning, um, or uh, not in the morning, I really don't get up in the middle of the night anymore to use the bathroom. However, he is laying like right above my bladder. So when I get up, like if I'm sitting, I'm fine. If I'm laying in bed, I'm fine. But when I get up, I feel the urge to always pee. As I'm walking, I feel the urge to always pee. Um, anything that has to do with me physically being up, I feel the urge to pee. And that's because he's legit on my bladder. So I feel that pressure down there all the time, which is super uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. This week I've been really good. Um, I wasn't even going to say that, you guys. That's why I'm looking like this. See, I'm forgetting. Um, what I was going to say is this week I felt the most pregnant um, physically. Before, I didn't really feel pregnant. I mean, I felt pregnant due to the symptoms I was experiencing. But physically, I didn't really feel pregnant. I was still small. But now I feel physically feel pregnant my face is getting chubbier my nose is getting wider so um i'm loving it you know hey it is what it is right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you my belly i am wearing a crop top because i wanted you to really get the effects of my belly because a lot of people say they don't see it so um yeah i'm gonna show you that and then i'm gonna get into what's happening with troy a lot of cool things you guys so let me back up so you can really see so this is the belly side front and the next side and then if I were to have a shirt on um, so I guess you can't really tell if I had a shirt but <laughs> otherwise you can see okay so as far as he goes this week you guys um He's just growing like a weed and I cannot wait for him to be here. But at the same time, I'm kind of trying to savor the moments of me being pregnant just because I already know once he's out, it's going to like, it's going to fly by. He's going to be like 10 years old and I'm going to be like, damn, what the hell happened? You know, so right now he's 3.5 ounces. So, you know, he's getting a little bigger. And then this is probably like the best thing that, um, uh, for me this week. It says your baby's sense of hearing continues to get better and better each day. So uh for the 16th week they say that the baby can actually hear your voice at this week uh at this time so uh starting tonight actually i'm gonna start reading short stories to him and um hopefully he's not sleeping during it but i just think it'll be really cute to start a little tradition uh hopefully create a bond where i can read a story to him every single night leading up to his arrival and then um you know, and then once he's here, I'll still read a book to him every night. So I think that'll be really cute. You know what I mean? So he could definitely recognize my voice when, uh, you know, he's out of me. And then it says your baby keeps growing and growing, which may be expanding and crowding your uterus. Which yes, yes, it's growing. I can feel him. And then um, it says your baby's sex is probably detectable with an ultrasound now, which is really exciting. I do have my ultrasound, like I said, on the 29th. So. Um, I can't wait to see if, you know, it's it's definitely a boy. I mean, I know it's a boy because I think the blood test will be more accurate than an ultrasound, but it'll be really cool just to see his little boy parts. So that is that, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to actually film my birth plan after this video. So you are going to see the same thing, just letting you know. But I'm so excited and I can't wait for him to be in my arms. It's going by so fast. I've been doing so much planning and, um, excuse me looking into stuff with the nursery and uh speaking of nursery and nursery and where i'll be living and stuff um i'll be talking about that in a birth plan video so look out for that thank you so much for watching you guys oh did i even mention how many how far along i was i'm 16 weeks and three days to be exact i hope i mentioned that in the beginning or else that'll be really awkward but anyways thanks so much for watching until next time i'll see you later bye guys